Hey, it's Ted here. I'm in the uh, drive lab and I'm going over some of the shimmy procedures for DPS uh, lower unit. And one of the things my student brought up to me was uh, measuring the tube gear here in the fixture and he was having trouble trying to measure it and I realized that he had set the indicator up a little bit different than I usually do. So I'm gonna go over how to use the foot on a dial indicator and a neat little trick to do with that. So let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I start with using this um, shim fixture tool, which is a perfectly machined surface, this 350600 tool, and I want to set a um, measuring foot, as I call it, up on a vernier caliper so I can measure the depth of something. So usually what I do is I take this foot, put it onto the indicator, slide it down to the base and put it on here and snug it up and then zero it out. One of my students today, what he did was he set it way up here and kind of uh, made it so there was a big gap here at the bottom of the indicator, which was okay, but the thing was what he did was he turned the indicator on and then he used it like that. So he was getting almost a half an inch of extra measurement on what he was trying to do. And I said, no, no, you gotta zero that out. And then when I saw what he was doing, it dawned on me, well, that's kind of nice to be able to see the indicator sticking out of the bottom of the tool so you can actually then see if it is indeed hitting the surface. So just one of those little things that I looked at. So. What I do is I hold it down and then I zero it. So now the indicator is zero to that surface, that flat surface. So what's nice about that, I'll zoom in and I'll show you. When you want to measure this surface, when we're doing the tube gear in a DPS stern drive, so when we're going to measure the tube gear here for a DPS lower unit, what we need to do is we need to measure from this raised silver surface to the tool surface here which is a little hard to do in a lot of depth mics you can't get in there and verify that it's zeroed. And it is zeroed. So now what I'm gonna do, just to make sure again, yep, that's zeroed. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around so I can actually see the back side of it. So I'm gonna take the indicator and I'm gonna set it on that raised surface and then I'm gonna bring it down until it just touches that. So now, once I do that, I can see the indicator, the end of it is actually touching that raised surface and I'm holding it out on the edge so that I know my dimension is right on the money. So just a little trick is to actually be able to see that gap, which is really nice. I had always brought the indicator down to the base, just something you, you know, learn through. Sometimes your student's doing it wrong and you actually see something that makes sense. So I come over here for my second measurement and there's no guesswork. I can actually see that that is on that raised surface. And then my, I can read my second dimension. So just a little trick on reading that tube gear um, when I'm trying to get my final dimension for my measurement to place that gear in a DPS case. So I hope that helps you measure in the gear a little bit easier for a DPS lower unit and we'll talk to you soon.